accept awards to institutions and individuals that have excelled in promoting unity and progress among ethnic minority groups. Nearly 1,500 groups and individuals were honored during a national conference held on Sunday and today in Beijing. President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang delivered speeches at the meeting. Leaders and officials said the central government supported the economic development in regions inhabited by minority ethnic groups. They stressed the need to speed up the building of infrastructure and to develop modern agricultural programs in these regions. They also said education and medical facilities should be improved. The meeting called for efforts to maintain stability in ethnic minority areas and to protect their traditional culture. It a total of 2,000 of 23,146 dengue fever cases since the outbreak began last month. Nearly 20,000 of those cases were in its capital, Guangzhou, and as many as 1,661 new cases were reported on Monday. The mosquito-borne disease has claimed six lives, five in Guangzhou and one in Fushan City. Guangzhou provincial government has launched a clean-up campaign to control the disease, but hospitals continue to be overcome with a growing number of fever patients. Guangzhou authorities carried out another clean-up campaign on Tuesday to kill mosquitoes as more dengue fever cases were reported. The local health authorities sanitized the green belts and ditches in various communities, putting special efforts into disinfecting manhole covers, sewers, roofs, and garages. On the one hand, we performed some sanitation. For example, we sprayed sanitizer onto green belts and sewers. On the other hand, we cleared stagnant water from the roofs and the balconies of residential buildings. Since the outbreak of dengue fever in September, community service officers have visited residents, teaching them disease control skills and how to clean up common breeding grounds for mosquitoes. We didn't know much about dengue fever, but after a family in our building was infected, we began to take the disease seriously. Community service officers visited us several times to inspect sanitary conditions, and after understanding the disease is spread by mosquitoes, we seldom go outside. Despite the city's sanitation efforts and residents' growing awareness, hospitals are receiving more patients. Long lines are seen outside doctors' consulting rooms in the first affiliated hospital of Guangzhou University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. During the seven-day National Day holiday, an average of 1,000 patients came to this hospital daily, half of whom reported fever symptoms. It's hard to tell immediately if this is dengue fever. I suggest you go home now and come back if it continues tomorrow. All doctors in the emergency department have canceled their holidays, but the hospital still finds a shortage of doctors with the number of patients growing every day. My colleagues and I are either working overtime or on standby. We could be called in at any time when there are too many patients. Also tied up are the nurses who sometimes have to attend up to seven patients a day and work for more than ten consecutive hours. You can see a lazy running around here. I understand how anxious the patients and their families feel, but I also hope they can understand us and be more patient. As for myself, I feel sorry for my family. I can take care of my patients, but I cannot take care of my own family. Doctors warn residents with fever to closely monitor their health conditions and go to the hospital if symptoms worsen. Christy Scott.